Alright, so the first thing I did, I made a couple bends on this steel to contour the headlamp like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to weld these right here for the screws to go on to fasten the light. I'm going to put a weld a piece of pipe right here with one of these at the end for this one over here. So that's what's next. So I have the bracket I made attached to these two guys right here. The next step to make sure that this is strong and it doesn't go anywhere, <coughs> I'm going to weld this right here and I'm going to cut this piece once this is welded on and fasten it to the bracket. You know, cut this piece off obviously and then fasten it to the to the bracket and that way the mounting bracket that I'm making is going to be attached to all three points of the headlight and it's not going to go anywhere so that's the next step So the piece that I just made, I bolted it to the light. So now I have a gap right here. So I'm going to cut a piece of the same steel that I made this bracket with, and I'm going to weld it right here, and then that's going to make it, that's going to finalize the retaining bracket right there. Alright, so I got my piece. Obviously it's flat on one end, it's rounded on the other end. And it's going to be welded to that bracket. And this is how it's going to look. Just like that. So it'll sustain the headlight from here, from here, and here.
Okay, so this is what the bracket looks like right here. So let's see how that fits. Just loose, okay. But there you go. That's uh, that's the finished bracket. That's how it's gonna hold this light in place. Now the next step is to fabricate the mounting tabs that are gonna hold this piece. So we're now this is gonna hold the headlight itself. Now I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna mount this and same thing I'm gonna have to make some small brackets and then bolt it to the body of the vehicle so this headlight is not going anywhere so that will be the next step alright so the bracket is installed and it's bolted to the headlight and I'm sliding it in the only thing that looks like I gotta do you gotta do a C notch right here on the fender um, because this bolt right here looks like it's hit. So aside from that, that's gonna allow the light to sit in place. And on the next video, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna weld the tabs that are gonna hold the bracket to the body of the bug. It's not gonna be held to the plastic. It's gonna be held to the metal pieces. But that's going to have to be during the next video, because this is already getting too long. I did mention earlier that because of the adjustment being on the back side, I don't, and not having the need to make adjustable brackets, that really made these lights the perfect choice for this project. I'm very glad I chose these lights. So remember, in the next video I'm going to finish fastening these lights on, and I'm going to show you how to wire them to the to the wiring harness of the vehicle there will be a few modifications not a whole lot but overall it's going to be very simple in the meantime make sure you visit our online store we have a great selection of accessories for cars trucks and SUVs also don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we upload videos regularly see you next time